Now, there's this concept from this book that I think that that will really change your life. And I know like everybody online is saying like, oh, how to change your life this, how to change your life that, but uh, everybody's using it way too often in my opinion. But I think this will really change your life. Now, there's this book called Essentialism. And you probably know about the like the rules already. Like basically means that you should do less but you should do more of the things that you're doing less from so for example like when like you don't you don't want to focus on like bodybuilding like all like like 20 different things at the same time but instead you want to focus on like two or three things and go all in on on that and then basically the rest is like unnecessary and you don't focus on it now, I know a lot of people use this in business and all that stuff, but I actually think that you can use this in a lot of different ways as well. So, for example, when you go to the gym, right, is it actually necessary to be in the gym for like two hours? Probably not. I genuinely believe that you get most of the benefit of the gym after like 30 to 45 minutes something like that i think it's i don't know if this is like scientifically proven or some shit i think it is but you can spend less time in the gym and still get almost the same results as people that are spending two times as much in the gym now the same with reading like i stopped reading books from cover to cover and what i'm doing right now is i i just pick out the things that i think are going to be important so basically what i do is I grab a summary of the book before I read it and then based on the summary I see if I actually like like if I want to if I want to read about that part so then based on the summary and the how do you say it you know the thing they have in the in the front right Uh, let me grab it yeah so the contest based on this I will see if what I like basically want to read about I don't read books cover to cover anymore because when people are going to tell me for the 40 nine time like of the four mile race i just don't give a fuck i genuinely don't give a fuck so i think that for example even when you're reading books you can apply the concept of essentialism where you basically only read like 20 30 percent of the book now of course it depends on the book some books are like powerful like they're very well written but most books aren't to be honest so where can I use this? As well, I use this in my life as well. It's basically a, a foundation of my life that I'm using. Um, basically, what I'm doing is I just don't have a lot of things in my life. I just don't like people on self improvement. They're like meditating, visualizing, journaling, reading. They're doing all these different things. They're doing like red light therapy, saunas, going to the gym like they have they they do have a lot of different things they have like a extend like big morning morning routines and all that stuff let me tell you bro I, all i do is visualizations i don't meditate anymore like i don't i don't really do any of this like i don't know just i feel like it's self-improvement cope it's just coping like oh i'm on self-improvement and my morning routine needs to be like an hour long mine isn't bro my my morning routine is like i wake up i open my window and i get to work that's it it's like it's so simple but it's effective like i've never felt so productive like even when i used to like m- do the meditation part do the, all the different things now am i saying meditation is bad i'm not i'm not saying that shit but i think journaling and red light therapy and saunas and all these different things cold showers they're not the, the the thing that moved the needle they're not the thing that's the most important right now it, like do you understand what i'm saying it's like even even with listening to music and going to parties like i don't do i, I don't really do that shit because it's like it's not essential it's just not it's not my biggest constraint if i don't go to parties so why would i go to a party that's literally how i'm thinking it's the same way literally anything like think about anything 
I have less of it, but more, except for like books. That's my problem. Like I, I bought too many books back in the day. Like, but when I started applying this concept of essentialism, I even buy less books right now because I'm like, I think it's better to reread specific books that really helped me, bef- helped me before, like Expert Secrets, um, The Diary of a CEO, Think and Grow Rich. These books are books that I really like, and I like rereading instead of reading a new book of like oh the magical miracle morning routine or some shit like that right i just don't i don't really care if that makes sense i think you should apply this concept as well now when i say do less i don't mean i i'm not trying to say like do less work what i'm trying to say is uh, do less of multiple tasks like do less multiple tasks but go all in on one specific task. So for example, like when you're even when you're working, you don't wanna you don't wanna focus on different things. Like people have too many tabs open. That's even a distraction. Is like for example, when I'm working, I I've my my business on a platform called school.com. So when I'm working, I've got my school community open, like the tab open. This is what I used to have, right? I used to have the school community tab open, Gmail open, YouTube open, like Loom open. I used to have so many different tabs open. Like sometimes I even had 20 tabs open. And I just realized it's essentialism. I just only want to focus on one task. So why would I have all these different tasks, like these different things open? But even, even ways of getting leads, for example, I used to do cold DM, YouTube. Like, I wanted to do a lot of different things. I wanted to focus on ads, hiring people, referrals, YouTube, cold DM, all these different things. But what I realized is that you should only focus on one specific thing at a time. It's even the same in life. Like, I'm, I'm going bigger and bigger, right? But it's even the same in life. It's like, I, all I focus right now is business. I just care about business. I don't really care about my body. Of course, I wanted to like stay in shape stay healthy but it's not my main focus right now the same way like anything health wealth relationships the only thing i focus on is wealth right now only thing i'm focused on is business because that's the thing that i believe when i make money my life is going to completely change way more than if i drop my body fat percentage by two percent less i just don't really care at this at this point in my life right probably in the future and this doesn't mean like oh like be fat or some shit because i'm not fat bro i'm like 13 percent body fat some shit like that um i just eat healthy but again it's like i even when i'm eating i apply essentialism because i don't eat a lot of different things i eat eggs meat some fruits and what my parents cook me like and the thing is like i when my parents cook something for me i I don't really have something to say but when i would probably imagine i would cook for myself i'd probably make like meat that's it like meat salt cooked in butter that's it bro it's simple eggs simple meat simple some fruits and and honey simple It's, it's all so simple bro it's like and people might think my life is is boring and i kind of agree like i i don't really i don't really try and argue this fact but the thing is i just don't need the different things i don't need the stimulation of alcohol of music i don't need the stimulation of of having all these people around me i just i i just want to make money right now like i know it it sounds kind of weird but that's what i care about right now so yeah man i really think that this is something that you should apply for your life as well it's like even like uh, anything i do is based around essentialism it's based around simplicity it's based around the 2080 principle because even like the ingredient list of my toothpaste right it's little ingredients think about that i don't want a toothpaste with like 30 ingredients that look like like it could literally explode in my face when you when i read that shit i don't know what ingredients or unusual toothpaste i have no idea i don't want that shit i just want normal toothpaste simple less ingredients less is always more bro so yeah bro i actually want to show you this graph that i think explains everything per- perfectly 
Let me see if I can find it real quick for you, bro. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Now, to be honest, I'm not really saying you should buy this book. Here. I'm not saying you should, like, buy this book because, to be honest, I... I think it was a good book, but I, f I don't really think it was one of the best books I've ever, like, read. Um, I think if you just know the concept, you're fine. Like, I just told you the concept, and I told you to apply it everywhere. In your morning routine, in your, like, day-to-day -day life, in your business. You should apply this shit everywhere. Um, you already know the concept right now. So, like, it's a good book, but it's not necessary. So, yeah, bro, I really hope that helped. Um... If you're a coach, I want to help you monetize your business, bro. I want to help you monetize your business. So if you're a coach, I've got a link to book a call with me below that you can check out. Um, yeah, bro. I wanted to say, like, again, it's it's niche down, right? I'm niche down. I'm, I'm focused on one specific thing. I'm focused on helping coaches monetize their business. I'm not focused on, on like, entrepreneurs monetize. I'm focused on coaches. So it's like... Think about a heart surgeon versus a doctor, right? Who's making more money? It's the heart surgeon. Why? Because the, the heart surgeon is more niche down. It's more focused to one specific thing. Instead of the doctor who's going broad and, and focusing on everything. So even with my niche, I'm focused down. Like it's, I'm, I'm focused everywhere, right? But anyways, bro, if you're a coach, you want to monetize your business, mm, book a link with a call with me below right now. Because I'll help you basically monetize like crazy, bro. So book a, mon book a monetization call right now. We'll see if you're a good fit. And um, that's it, bro.